Hi everyone, and thanks for tuning in to this video, where I'd like to guide you through some of the major events and developments at Nent in 2020. Last year was a very special and challenging year for all of us. A year in which we did many things for the first time. Our first priority was to keep our people safe and well, which we have done through a combination of remote working, cost-saving programs to safeguard jobs and a wide range of activities to keep our teams engaged and energized when we can't spend time physically together. We have also worked hard to keep our millions of customers entertained with a rich diversity of content and help to support the local communities in which we live and work. We ended the year by presenting a new five-year plan and a set of goals for the company. Before the end of 2023, we will expand Viaplay from our current five Nordic markets to 10 new international markets. And we will grow our Viaplay subscriber base from 3 million to 10.5 million in 2025. Our goal is to be the European streaming champion. We have a proven track record in the Nordics. We've transformed ourselves while continuing to deliver profitable growth over a number of years. 70% of our sales now come from subscriptions, with Viaplay accounting for 30% of group sales. The focus on these growing and recurring revenue streams have improved both our visibility and resilience. It has also reduced volatility, which allows us to take a more aggressive and long-term approach when reinvesting profits back into the business, in order to accelerate our growth and value creation. This is a model that has worked well for us and expected to continue to do so. Today Viaplay is firmly established as a must-have entertainment service. The early and substantial investments that we've made into content, content discovery and our platform have ensured that Viaplay is top of mind and the leading premium Nordic video streaming service. We have leading positions in sports, original content, movies and kids content and a number of our more than 80 originals have been made available internationally and proven popular with viewers around the world. Our technology platform also competes with the best in the world in terms of performance and functionality. And we are growing fast. Viaplay's paying subscriber base grew by 33% in 2020 to reach and exceed our target of 3 million. This represents a significant acceleration as subscriber consumed 30% more minutes of content in 2020 and a total of the astonishing 57 billion minutes. We premiered 30 new original shows and we have now over 80 of them on the Viaplay platform. This has attracted 80% more minutes of viewing in 2020. Together with our hardworking and dedicated teams, partners and shareholders, we have come out of 2020 even stronger and better positioned. Now, let's take a closer look at 2020. Of course, operating in the coronavirus pandemic has had its impact on our business. We acted early and decisively to adapt our business to the new reality. Our priority has been to keep everyone safe and healthy while delivering world-class entertainment to our viewers. To ensure that all jobs were safeguarded and we could continue to investing in content and technology, we implemented a 700 million Swedish kroner million cost savings program. While live sports around the world were not happening, we reduced Viaplay sports package prices, we had to postpone some productions during lockdowns, and withdrew all executable variable pay and the annual cash dividends to shareholders. We have also helped where we can to make a contribution to those in society who have been most affected by the crisis. The pandemic obviously heavily impacted our advertising, subscription and production revenues, particularly in the second quarter. But our teams adapted swiftly, working closely with our suppliers and partners to find new solutions for the new reality. This allowed us to return to healthy organic revenue and profit growth in the second half of the year. And overall, our organic sales were slightly up for the year, while the like-for-like -like profits were down less than 13%. Streaming is at the core of our strategy, and the growth of Viaplay accelerated in 2020. We raised our Viaplay subscriber target intake three times and hit our final target of 3 million paying Viaplay subscribers by the end of the year. 
The Viaplay platform has proven to be resilient and adaptive yet again, with 99.97% service accessibility in 2020. It is no surprise that with such a strong platform, we are seen as its preferred partner, especially for live sports. Our sports rights portfolio has never been more extensive, and we secured multiple long-term sports agreements in 2020 that will guarantee Viaplay's future growth. These include the Premier League, the UEFA leagues, Bundesliga, Formula One, NHL, the leading women's football leagues, handball, ice hockey, golf, and much, much more. Including for the first time, the Nordic Alpine skiing rides from winter 2021. All of this content has made our channels and services even more attractive to our many distribution partners across the Nordic region, with whom we also have multi-year agreements. Partnership also took a new dimension in 2020 as we teamed up with Elisa in Finland to combine our streaming services, enhance our content offerings and deliver accelerated subscriber growth. We have since teamed up with Elisa once again in Estonia and with TET in Latvia to make Viaplay available to as many of their hundreds of thousands of customers as possible. The international expansion of Viaplay that I mentioned earlier started with the launch in Iceland during lockdown in April which completed our Nordic footprint. We have now launched in the three Baltic countries almost a year later and will soon launch in Poland in August before heading to the US at the end of the year. Another great milestone in 2020 was the formation of the Alente joint venture through the merger of our Viasat consumer satellite pay TV business together with Telenor's Canal Digital. This created a scale Nordic player to compete with the other traditional platforms and global players. And we have signed a long-term deal to make Viaplay available to as many Alente subscribers as possible. The merger will create many synergies and we will benefit from these through our 50% partnership. We have already received a 1.2 billion sec dividend in 2020 and further dividends will be paid in 2021. This streamlining of our operations in order to focus on streaming has also led to the decision to find newer owners for the majority of our content studios and to focus the production businesses that we keep on the delivery of high quality new originals for Viaplay as we raise our ambitions further in 2021. The divestment of the studios is expected to be completed by the middle of this year. We've made significant progress in becoming a more inclusive company in 2020, and we have ambitious plans for the future. Our goal is to be one of the most diverse and equal companies in the entertainment industry. With millions of viewers on our platforms, we work hard to enable diversity and inclusion on and off screen in our teams and to rethink our role in society and the responsibility to respect and protect each other and the environment. To make sure we play our part in climate action, we committed to the science-based targets initiative to become carbon net zero. We continue to be a proud signatory of the UN Global Compact and Media Compact, as well as the women's empowerment principles. It has been great to see that our work towards our various sustainable development goals has rated highly by the world's leading ESG indices. It has never been clearer that sustainable stakeholder value is shareholder value, which is why the development of our business strategy and sustainability strategy work hand in hand and walk hand in hand. It is also why we focus so much on our values-driven culture and the communication of clear purposes in all that we do, telling stories, touching lives and expanding worlds. So, 2020 was absolutely not what we have imagined it to be in 2019. But I can with confidence say that we came out of 2020 much stronger, better positioned and with clear goals for the future. We've accelerated our transformation towards becoming the European streaming champion and now more than ever are we ready to expand internationally. Viaplay will be rolled out to 10 international markets in the next three years. We've already launched Viaplay in the three Baltic countries. Poland and the US are next on the list for 2021. And we started the new year by raising more than 4.3 billion kronas from existing and new shareholders to invest in our expansion and development. 
We have welcomed many new shareholders in 2020, and the share price had more than doubled by the end of the year since our listing in March 2019. So thank you to our new owners and to all of our stakeholders for your support, without which none of this would have been possible. I hope to see you again face to face very soon. And in the meantime, please stay safe. And we trust you continue to enjoy the ever increasing range of content on our channels and services. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching.